Hello folks, and welcome to another episode of Interview This. I'm your host, Seymour Xavier Wordsworth. Now, tonight we have a very special guest. Steve Sherwin will be on our show. Now, you might know him best from his hit series, Mock Files, which airs daily on Channel 28. Well, you know what? He normally doesn't do interviews like this. Tonight, he's made an exception. Please welcome, help me welcome our guest, Steve Sherwin. Steve Sherwin, everybody. <laughs> yes. Woo! Oh, my right. God! Yeah! Yeah! What's up? Oh, hey. What's up, everybody? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. God, yeah. 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 Oh, there you go. Yeah. Alright, Steve. Yeah! 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 Steve! Yeah. 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 Steve! Yeah! Steve. Yeah. Steve. Yeah. Steve. Yeah. Steve. Yeah. Steve. Yeah. Oh. Hey, what's oh, up, man? Are you excited tonight? Oh, oh absolutely! You're a little bit oh, excited, aren't you? Yeah! Well, Alright then, now, uh, to Steve. How, uh, how'd you come up with your, you know, scavenger hunt for animal thing, your show? People seem to really like that kind of stuff. I mean, they're really going for it. Ratings are through the roof. How'd you do it? I know, right? I know. Oh, it's just... It's been thrown, though. I mean, okay. Well, we came up with the show initially, like, oh... I, I can't even remember, about four or five years ago? It was a fantastic idea. I mean, oh, it was just... It was original, you know, going out and looking at animals. So original. You've never, nobody's ever done that before. But, uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I started that, and now we're through the roof. Through the roof. It's just fantastic. I mean, we've got, what, 90 million viewers per week? Per day? I am not, I don't even know. This, they're just enormous. It's, I'm really happy, yeah. I'm, I'm really pleased with that. Well, I bet you one of the reasons that so many people like your show is all the crazy stuff you get into, don't you folks? Yeah! It's crazy stuff. I mean, one time you got bit by a snake, there's another time you got attacked by a casey bear. I mean, it's just ridiculous the kind of stuff you get into. Why Why do you like finding yourselves in those situations? Oh, yes, uh, we do get into some sticky situations now, don't we? Now, I remember this one time. Oh, I believe it was in, uh... Yeah, yeah, it was back in Pine Ridge in high school. We were doing a documentary there. What was it all? Oh, it was a nine-foot-tall man-eating sloth. Yeah. Now, I don't think you guys have ever seen one. We did get a glimpse on camera, but it was just very brief. We didn't actually find it to look at it and study it. It actually attacked us. If anybody saw that documentary, I mean, it was it was brutal. We had to cut. Oh, he just came over. He grabbed my head. And I was like, ah! And we just ran. It was... It was very, it was scary at the time. It was very touch and go there for a moment. But, uh, yeah, we escaped with our lives. That's all that really matters now, doesn't it? Yeah, but, uh, so, so I hear, come from a humble background, though. So, I mean, you're coming from there, you get up here, you're making all this money. To, tell me how you did it. What was your childhood like? Oh, the childhood. Oh, I knew this would be coming. You're right, we did. We did have humble beginnings. In fact, my mom and dad, I'm sorry, this is sometimes hard for me to talk about, they never even met until they were 30 years old. Never even met, never saw each other in their life. Now my dad, he was in the Navy. Came down to summer mom in Australia, boom, hit it off like that. Sailed back off, and then I was born. She tells me these things, that's all I know. Well, came out, came out, they said I was yelling as I was coming out. Ah, oh, bugger! Ah, oh, that's what they said I was doing. So, uh, you know, I was made for this. I came up, my mom was very supportive of me. Whenever I told her I wanted to be a documentarian. She didn't know what it meant. I'm not sure if it's even a word, but that's what she wanted me to be. Ah, oh, she was very supportive of my mom. She would give me rides to school, to work. She, you know, I did get a job at age 10. Yeah, Dad, Dad and Elsie, they don't have a job restriction age requirement. Nope. Yeah, I was a butcher. I actually a butcher at the age of 10. I was cutting meat. Ah, uh, some of the greatest days of my life. 
This one time, this guy came in, oh, he wanted 16 pounds of meat, and I was the only one working. I'm like, I don't know if I can get you 16 pounds of meat, sir, how about five? He's like, I need 16, I got a big hungry family. And I'm like, well, okay, sir, I'll do what I see what I can do, but, uh, no guarantees, you know what I mean? So, yeah, so, uh, well, I got into the animal, animal business, I'd say, around, around 16. Got attacked by a swarm of killer bees, and oh, I was just fascinated. I mean, it hurt. It hurt, let me tell you, but you know what? It was a good pain. It made me realize something. I love animals. I would do anything. I would kill for animals. Lay down my life for them. I mean, they're just, they're just precious to me. So yeah, that was my childhood. Uh, it was, was alright. Uh, I'll take it. Give or take, you know. Take a little bit more than I give. Give more than I take, you know, I don't know. But yeah. That's just, that's what it was. Oh. Wow. Oh, that's very, uh, very interesting. Now, uh, what was I? Ah. Yeah. So you had quite the childhood, it seems. Ah. Now I led up to this, so how long have you been doing this exactly? Like, what, what is your experience? Oh, well, around? yeah, you know, uh, so, you know, I was doing this, and I was just, you know, walking around in my backyard, and I saw some of these, some animals, and I whipped out the video camera, and started describing them as I saw them, just, you know, some real rudimentary, basic stuff. And, uh, you know, it just got it. The gorgeous! Cranky, you know, just you know, just just jumped out of me. And, that's uh, that's just great, man. That's phenomenal. I mean, I'm I'm really <gasps> excuse me, excuse me. I'm really happy for you. Now, uh, so how much longer are you planning on doing this? Say four more years. I mean, you're getting kind of old now. Not as nimble, not as quick as you used to be. But so, what you gonna do? Oh, you you know what? I never even thought about that so far. You know. I mean, I'm just having so much fun with this. So much fun. Ah, oh, it's just, it's a blast. But, oh, retirement, huh? Oh, wow. You really put it on me with this one, huh? Oh. I'm gonna have to say... Probably six or seven more years at least. I mean, I'm getting paid, what, wads of cash to do what I'm doing. People love me. I'm the number one animal show in the kingdom. Get that little double entendre, kingdom, animal kingdom, kingdom, yeah. So, uh, you know what? I'm not even thinking about retirement right now. I'm just going to enjoy life. Well, what, what else is there to say? I mean, you've been a great guest, man. I mean, I have, yeah, I have some folks here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you really have. You've, you've been very insightful. I'm, I'm really interested now. I'm going to go watch Mock Files. I mean, I never watched it before, but I'm going to do it now. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Well, yeah. you've been a fantastic guest today. Woo! I mean, I can't tell you the most. Thank you. Thank you Bye. for having me on this show. Okay. Thanks a lot. Hey, I... Okay. Ha! Huh? Well, there you have it, folks. The one and only Steve Sherwin. I guess he's going to film right now, sir. I'll be with you next time here on Interview This.